What's up guys, it's Nogu here and Deep Pokemon has a ranked problem. Right now, time of conflict, Deep Pokemon's current ranked 1v1 system has numerous issues that have never been addressed or at least very little and put to the side to rot away until conquest. To start off, I'd like to say that I'm for Chime existing in the game. If you've seen my Immortal build video, Chime is the only environment where builds that can run away at any given point don't exist. So Immortal builds in that regard do not exist, so to me true build or build does not exist in Chime. It's the only environment where one side doesn't become immortal because your build is different. Chime is the most fair setting in Deep Oaken, assuming both sides aren't trying to cheese. Chime is a fair, no interruptions, one vote environment where you can truly see if you are the better player. However, even then, that is not fully true, and Chime still has issues that have yet to be addressed. There are currently two issues with Chime, Storm Builds and Boosting. The Storm Builds are builds that rely on heavy knockback moves, usually Rocket Lance. They play around the Storm and essentially make a move like Rocket Lance deal 40% damage because of the Storm. I don't think builds should be based around throwing people into the Storm, as that is just unfair, not fun, cheesy, and encourages anti parry trade playstyles. The fix for this is to make the Storm similar to the Battle Royale Storm. The Battle Royale Storm does significantly less damage, so Storm builds get significantly less output. You don't want the Storm to do no damage until the end, since that would encourage an even cheesier playstyle of hiding until the end. But what do you guys think? Is this the right way to fix Storm Cheese builds? Let me know in the comments. Now for the other issue is boosting. Boosting does not affect a large amount of the player base as it only affects those who try to get ranks legitimately and for me it affects me trying to reach top 10 legitimately. Currently every single top 10 god seeker is currently boosted with half of the top 50s being boosted as well. Trying to get top 10 legit in this era would require me to win around 60 to 100 matches in a row without a single lodge, which is technically possible, but it's just annoying for me personally since I would be top 10 currently if boosters were removed. Before I explain the methods of how we can try and prevent boosting, I'd like to say that boosting will, no matter what, always exist and always be possible. There is no way to stop boosting entirely, but we can make it a lot harder to boost and discourage boosting entirely. So there are two methods that I know of to fix this issue. For both, an elo reset would be required, sending everyone to the default 800 elo. Method 1 is Fallen's idea of making it so dodging no longer gives calls to the other opponent. This would make boosting much harder as after you give elo, it would take more time and add risk trying to get the skulls back to continue giving elo. I personally don't like this idea because as someone who streams chime, it is annoying when I get to one skull and I have to ask them to dodge. And if they remove this, I would basically have to be forced to end the stream since playing on chime on one skull is too risky for little reward and just kind of sucks as a content creator who you know often tries to stream chime for you guys to just have fun and watch. Method 2 is my idea of being unable to queue the same person for at least 6 message or the devs can treat this number. So if you are unable to queue the same person for at least 6 matches, this would make boosting a lot harder as well as you would be forced to queue at least 5 real matches before being able to boost yourself from it all. Boosting again would still be possible but it would take a lot more time and prevent things like 200 elo gaps from number 1 and number 10 from existing. But what do you guys think? I know boosting will always exist, it exists in every game, and smurfs are a whole other issue, but I'm not sure how else we could fix the issue. I really hope Chime Elo is not removed outright, since Overworld is way more unfair than Chime, and it's, it's, just, it's just way more unfair. It is way more builds to build, if you didn't go the running elf, oh, you can't chase them, that's just too bad. But we'll have to see. Maybe Conquest can fix this too, but I don't know, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.